In this workflow series of videos, I want to take you through some of the things you can do with our BIM 360 team application, which hosts the C4R or the Collaboration Forever model on the cloud. So what I have here on the screen is uh, my Revit 2017, and this is a Collaboration for Revit model that is syncing to a cloud location on the BIM 360 team site. So at the moment, it's working on the cache copy in the model, and if I make changes to the model, it will do sync with centrals and take the delta changes to the cloud host model and then update it for other users to reload. So simply, if I go to my floor plan here, and I want to do something like uh, create some more uh, windows to my design, so I'm adding uh, a few items, and then I want to say uh, delete these two items here, and I go to do my sync with central. This is the uh, basic workflow. So I typically sync with central, and what it's going to do is it's going to pop up with the central model location and that's our 360 site here and I like to add comments so it just helps other users when they look at the communicator activity feed here on the right they can see what's been done so uh, uh, added windows deleted chairs and go OK and what we're gonna see now over here in the timeline is syncing with those comments added. Some of the previous ones, I didn't add these, but um, it's good practice to actually uh, add these so other users who I collaborate with can be notified what's sort of been happening when that sync's uh, going on. So other users like Tom or John who I collaborate with will be able to see that in the uh, timeline with the uh, date time and who actually synced it. So at the moment, this model is still within the collaboration for Revit environment. It hasn't gone to what's called BIM 360 team to host the model. So what I need to do here is go to my manage cloud models and go to the folder that's inside of my hub. And you can see here uh, these two models here. So I've just got an architecture model and a structural model. They have not uh, yet being published as the latest version to BIM 360 team. So the collaboration for Revit users like uh, myself and Tom and John, we can all see the Revit model that we're syncing, but the non-Revit users can't see the changes inside of BIM 360 team until we actually publish it. So I'm just going to click on uh, publish latest and it's just going to tell me a bit about this. <coughs> It's also going to um, just give me a bit of information on the links. So if you want to know anything more, <coughs> excuse me, about the file, you can click on it and it will take you to the hub and take you to where the model is. And here on the BIM 360 team application, you can view the thumbnails of the models. So they're just loading up as the um, LMV file format. So back to Revit. And I'm just going to publish that. And uh, while that's uh, publishing, just another thing to note here, uh, you can choose to publish all if you've got a number of models that you want to uh, run. You can also look at the publish settings. So you can have a little bit of control here on what you're wanting to, to share. So if I look at uh, all views in the set or all uh, 3D views or, or three views, uh, here, I can uh, control what I want to include or not include when it's published to the cloud for somebody to review. So there's a little bit of control over what you want to reveal and what you want to keep within the collaboration for Revit environment. So now if we go back to uh, the BIM 360 team environment, we have uh, the model showing up as V1. So this was the first initial publish and what's happening in the background is the publish from Revit, from Collaboration for Revit, is now converting it to the large model viewer file format, and this will soon turn into uh, V2. So we'll just give it a second here and allow it to refresh, and here we have, uh, pretty quickly, we're now on version two. So I'm gonna take you into uh, the BIM 360 team environment, and just show you one of the newer features 
that allows you to do model comparison between each publish of those models. So here we have uh, my model. Inside of it is the uh, structural model as well. So if I just take a step back here a little bit, I have the structural model linked in via the cloud to my uh, architecture model. So again, you just link it in via the BIM360 path. And then when it's published, it will appear within the published model as well. So let's say it's a much more complex model than the small uh, residential design here, and it's a really big building, and you want to um, see what's changed between the last time it was published from Collaboration Forever to BIM 360 Team. What we have in the top here under the version uh, button is compare versions. And if we click on this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up in a new window, and it's gonna ask you which version you want to compare. So I've only got two here, but I can do this in both 2D and 3D, even in the plans and sections. I'll just do it in 3D for, this, uh, for the sake of this uh, demo. I'm gonna hit compare. And what it's gonna do now, I'm just gonna drop the communicator down, is it's going through the model, so that little green bar indicates it going through the model, and then it goes through and uh, identifies what's been added, what's been removed, and what's been modified. And these are all color-coded. So it's been a while since I published between the initial push from Revit, uh, so that was version one, into uh, the version two. So here we have 20, 23 items that were modified, and they're highlighted here in yellow. Uh, items that were removed, so some previous windows that I deleted out. And then these are some of the items I added. And that included the reference file, the BIM360 link file of the uh, structural model that's highlighted there as well. And we do have these filters here, so you can start to hide the uh, architecture and electrical if you don't want to show any of that. You just want to show what's the structural component. And these are all listed out uh, here as well. And uh, a nice little tool here is if you want to look at a bit more detail about uh, a particular wall, you can click on it in the uh, selection tree here. And over here we have information about what's changed in version one and version two. So I'll just select this wall and we'll go to version one and it shows that we have uh, windows in different locations here. And then if we look at version two, the windows have been updated. So this is a really powerful feature. If you've got a complex model and you instantly need to see uh, what's changed, you can do this with the uh, version one and version two uh, model comparison tool. You also have features to other uh, tools down here as well. So if you wanna get down into first person, you can uh, use this to get more of a perspective uh, view and walk around the model. You can uh, section the model as well. So we have a nice little sectioning tool here to cut and even uh, rotate the section if you need to. And a measurement tool. So if we need to measure the distance between the edge of this window and this window, we can measure it. At the moment, it is displaying in feet and inches. So we can just go to our settings here and put it on millimeters and we'll leave the precision at zero and that will update here on the screen. Uh, we do have also a browser here, which is like a, uh, similar to like Navisworks, where you have a parent-child relationship of all the components. So if you've got a complex model again and you want to select all the walls, for example, so um, I'm just going to uh, go back to our orbit view here. And we're going to select those walls. We can select all the walls in the model and isolate them and we can start to, again, show what's been added, removed, or modified. So these are really handy tools to use, especially when you're publishing data from Collaboration for Revit to BIM 360 team, and you may not be the author, but you need to go through the model and understand what's changed, uh, make measurements, cut sections through it. You can do this um, all inside of the comparison feature here inside of BIM 360 team.